Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you want to see how to do this look, then just keep watching. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got to say. So I'm just going to start by popping some eye cream on. It's the Mario, Mario Badescu Olive Eye Cream. I get like really dry, kind of liney almost, like my concealer will kind of crease if I don't put on an eye cream so if you find like you're creasing and stuff that's where you're going wrong you need a good eye cream and then I'm going to pop some of the P. Louise base in shade 3 just in the back of my hand so I've not used my my new P. Louise like um but the, the brushes that I got the other day for like base and the eyes I've not um opened them yet I'm just going to use my my Mac 252 I just didn't want to do my first like tutorial and the brushes to be rubbish so so I'm just going to carve under the brow I like to take it off the eye on like the bridge of my nose slightly so it's like everything here and here is concealed. These eyebrows are fucking oh ridiculous. This is what lockdown gets you. So once that's fully covered down to like the lash line and stuff, I'm going to blend out this bit over here and this one here. Where's my brush? I'm using a Zoeva 221 I think it is. Yeah, 221. I'm just using small circular motions just to blend that in. So that's my eye all base now, I don't need to like put concealer in, not a uh, powder in on top to set that, I'm just going to pat it in. I've used shade 3, I know like number 2 is the most common one, but I just feel like I don't like a pure white eye base, I think it's just like a total, it just looks like a white mask sometimes, so I definitely would recommend going for one more closer to your skin tone. More closer, it's not even grammar. So my first shade I'm going to go in with is the Chanel bronzer in shade 40 I think it is. And I'm just going to use this as a kind of acting transition shade. Oh, and I'm using a MAC 224, I think. Yeah, 224. So I'm just building this up in the crease. I might zoom in a wee bit so you can see me. product on and I'm starting in the crease and I'm putting it on in kind of harsh circular motions to get that right in the case I want a good colour build up and then we soft circular motions just at the top edge and that'll blend that out I 
like I'm quite happy with that. Boy, thank you. So once you're happy with the colour peel off, I'm just going to I'm just going to go in the next eye. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's sorry, I've got mirrors everywhere. That's my first blend. So I'm going to go in with toast from the Beauty Bay Nudes palette. So this is the first time I've used this palette. So see if it goes in, goes all patchy. No judgment. It's not me. It's the eye shadows. So I'm again, I'm just placing this in the crease and then I'll blend it out, but I just won't take it up as high. I keep looking at that viewfinder to see if like everybody can see what I'm doing okay. I want to film a full video when I've been sitting like that the whole time. Yeah, quite happy with that. These shadows are actually so nice. Does anybody else when like, I always, like if I'm going out doing my makeup in the shop or something, but like when I'm in the house doing my makeup, see if you've got your dressing gown on, does anybody wait there? I should have the brush in a dressing gown and I'm just an absolute tramp. Or whatever's nearest. I tell my bed, I'm like that, changing colour. And I'm like, oh, why the fuck have I done that? To any potential clients, I don't do that with my, like, brushes for work. In between clients, put on my dressing gown and clean my brushes. Okay, so. I'm going to keep the, the, the MAC 224, the fluffier one, handy. Um because when I'm doing this I don't want it to go like I don't want it to set in like a harsh line so I'm going to keep that handy first off and then I'm going to go in with hazel now in this part This is literally like more than what I ever do in my own face. I'm normally fucking one shade of bronze over the eye, set of lashes and I'm off. Or baldy bare face because I just who can be bothered not me. So now that's on like quite harsh like and I'm kind of half moon shape. I'm just taking my um, MAC 224 now and softening that a bit. So I've just went in with Hazel in the Nudes palette and darkened up my crease again. I'm going to do this on my second eye. You know, sitting on a stool. Oh, the fucking backache. Honestly, see if you just don't make me the next Jamie Genevieve and I've got this chronic back pain for nothing. I won't be fucking happy. So I'm using the 252, the one I based my eyes with earlier. It goes really. I don't know if that's coming up like. How flat the brush goes. A YouTuber with a hand that doesn't even do it. Oh, right, mirror. So, I'll start at the inner corner. So I'm just stamping it on the top of this brush. It's quite rounded, so you don't need as much like draw on the shape you're wanting as much as you're just pressing. So 
So I'm just taking this halfway across my eye. So that's as far as I'm going to take it kind of three quarters of the way. And then I'm taking my fluffy blending brush again and softening this at the side. That was a total whistle. I really do like that for cutting crease. I didn't know if it was going to be so thick it was quite hard like in the packaging when I'm squeezing it out there and I didn't know if it was going to be too like, I don't know, it just felt dead thick. So I'm just blending this wee edge out because I don't want it to like be a harsh line. And just wiping off the excess on the back of my hands because I don't want too much product on now because I'm just patting this. To set. Putting them down, taking my MAC 224 and putting a wee bit of hazel, which was the last brown colour I used, and blending this over the side of that wee edge there. I don't even know if you can see this okay. And then I'm just going to take Toast, which was the setting blend. I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to use the Matte 252 again with the NYX Glitter Primer. Look at this. Hard life being in you. So as the shimmer, I'm going to use Peaches Dynamite. Comes in like a wee country western themed box. And I'm going to it once it's on. So I'm just going to go over all that eye base with the glitter primer. I've heard a lot of people use the the blank canvas just itself and sticking down um, like pigments and stuff but I don't want to like try it I'll try and error that another time, I don't want to really do it when I'm recording, so. And then I'm just going to do that you can see the brush again. Oops, the wee blending brush, sorry. Soften that wee edge. Just so the pigment doesn't stop in like a straight line. So I'm just using the 252 again and patting this on all over. Where I've just cut. Oh, stunning. The good thing with this brush is, like, you get such a hard, not harsh, um, a straight edge. So, like, even when you're stamping on, like, um, pigments and stuff, it goes so sharp when you're cutting the crease.
she's pushing that down all over. What's this black stuff? How long has that been there? I'm just popping some more of the, the eyeshadows. Just to soften it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. So that is both eyes lashed. Eventually fucking nearly smashed this room up. And I'm going to so I'm going to now um but I'm going to conceal under my eyes. Um, I'm going to do something a bit different from normal. I'm going to use the P. Louise base under the eyes. I've seen them say like you can use it so like, not that I'm saying you can't, but I've just never done it on myself. And I have quite dark circles, so I think this would, this would be quite good for covering up. I don't think it would go too cakey because I put a lot of that eye cream on. So I'm just, again, taking the 252. I'm just going to put this all over the areas where I want it. And once that's on, I'm going to take the Sleeva blending brush. So I didn't use the same shade as what I based my eyes with. I used shade two this time, um, just because I want it a wee bit brighter underneath the eye. I actually really like that as a concealer. The only thing though, that eye cream, it's a wee bit oily for my lighting I think. I'll see what it's like once I'm powdered and stuff but I don't know, I think it's a wee bit too, like the concealer's moving, to, not the concealer, the eye base is moving a wee bit too much. So right, trial and error. I honestly don't think I've done my makeup as many times as what I have during this lockdown. Like, day to day, I never ever ever wear it. And it's all fucking done. Like, I've got a total breakout around my mouth, like, all here, side of my nose, everything. I literally never get spots either. Like, never. Both under eyes concealed now, I think. Yep, yeah, everything's fine. Um, I'm going to go in and do the same shadows what I've done so underneath. So I'm going to use a Zoeva smudge brush. Oh, I don't even know what number this is. Something, something five. It's this though. It's a wee short. A small brush like that. So I'm going to go under the eye on this smudge brush with hazel which is a darker shade and I'm going to take that to kind of where my lashes in and then I'm using PC47 I'm just going to blend this wee corner So then I'm going to wipe my brush again. So I've currently got a towel on the floor. And then using toast. And again, just kind of stopping where my lashes finish because I'm going to pop some of the pigment just like at the inner corner. And then lastly, I'm going to take the PC47, it's a wee tiny, tiny baby blending brush. I'm going to use that with the bronzer I used to start with. So I'm 
so I just done my, like this under eye and the wee bit in the pigment in the inner corner, not the inner corner, the inner lower lash line and my mascara um, off camera. So I'm just going to go and mask my base now. So I'm um, already taking like eye base and prep my skin before I use the, don't laugh, but it's Asda. Um, it's a serum, it's a vitamin C one. So I use that. Is that focusing? I use that to start with, with one of the Bobbi Brown skin remedies. It's like wee drops, I don't know what it is though. Um, in number 42, which is a skin brightener. So I mix them together, put them on, and then also the my team on camera. So now I'm going to go in with the Milani foundation in shade 6. So this is the first time I've used this as well, so no judgement if it's absolutely stinking. So I'm using the PC19 brush by Peaches and Cream. Oh, it's actually looks quite dark, I thought it was going to be too light. So I'm just patting this on, kind of pushing it in, and then I'm just going to do circular motions to buff that down. I don't want any lines. It's time for us to go behind the ears because this is going to be a disaster. And then I'm going to use my Zoeva to say one. So remember I said when I was basing my eyes that eye cream was quite oily, I think it is far too oily, like it's just moving all the product I'm putting on. Like, I've got an eye base on underneath this and you can still see through it and that's never the case. Right, I saved the date on my pattern. Get it all over this big schneep. So I'm just pushing this on with the PC19 but I'm going to soften it with the um, Zoeva blending brush because I just think I've got a stupid totey bee forehead and that brush is like the full circumference of it so I don't want it going in my hair and on my eyebrows and stuff. It's just going to need a So I'm just using a Real Techniques, what? Real Techniques setting brush and I'm pressing this on all under my eyes. If you have a beauty blender I would recommend using a beauty blender but I've been doing mine because of a scabby and my new ones haven't came so. And I'm just brushing that away because I don't want it pure sticking to my eye makeup. Normally I would leave it but I felt it looked a bit bright there and I'm trying on the error here so. Just pressing that in. I actually remember I was, I was a bit nervous about that eye cream but I think it's, once the powder is on it looks a bit better. Like my top lip like pure comes over my chin so I always get oily in here. And my wrinkly forehead because I need Botox now. Sorted. So, I'm brushing these eyebrows up now because they're the absolute fear. So, 
bronzer, I'm now going to use the MAC 168 and the Chanel bronzer that I used to start with to, it was like my first eyeshadow shade. I just want it to all tie in so I keep them kind of matching. I don't know if this actually might be a bit too light for my face now but... So I just go back and forward to this, like, it's, it looks like I'm swiping but I'm not, I'm using like circular motions. find circular motions helps build the product up rather than like if I want to layer it like that and it's like liney, grey, mucky. I feel if you do light circular motions you can build it up easily like it's blending as well rather than just like going in a big stripy line. So I'm going to bronze my forehead. Not massively, I'm not doing it to contour it because as I said I've got a totally totally wee forehead but just pushing the bronzer into my hairline kind of ties it all in together. I'm right in the tempo. But yeah, that's bronzer all done. So I'm going to go in with two blushers now. I'm going to use... Yes, first. I'm going to use a matte one first to build up the colour. But then I've got a kind of... What is white under my foot? What's a wipe? I'm going to use a matte one to start and then go over it with quite a, a shimmery blush. I ordered two new ones um, from Jordana Tisha but they've not came yet so I'm going to use like... Oh my god, the hair am I? So I'm going to do like my own version um, of Fruit Punch. So this is like... Modern Mandarin by MAC and then Fairly Precious by MAC and I'm using a Peaches PC03 Now I love blusher so don't judge me here like, I'm not trying to look like what we did when we were doing matte mist and stuff but it's just nice And then I'm going to put a wee bit of my nose. I just think it makes you look tanned. Fuck it, chin too. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the shimmery one now, so this is fairly precious. This is an extra dimension one, I think. It's just so pretty and glowy. So I'm going to go in with highlight now. I'm going to use... What am I going to use? So I'm now going to use my... Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and a MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Highlighter. Because I don't have any decent ones in the house. I don't feel I need too much of this anyway. That blush is quite glowy. I always find putting on highlighter with like a really fluffy blending brush just gives you such a better finish. So I'm going to... I don't do much at all with my brows. I just put in a NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, just comb it through like a Sierra. And these brows are like totally out of control now anyway. So just brushing them 
cannot wait to come out here and get a lamination done again. Oh, and a wax and 40 sunbeds because this is killing me. So for lips, I'm going to use oh, one of the Peaches liners. I'm going to use Praline and Bambi lip gloss. The lip liners, when I swatched them on my hand the other day, they literally glided on off so can you? I don't know if you watched my last video, you'll see what I was talking about with the, the Peaches glosses, like, you literally don't need to put a, lip, a lipstick behind it. You can just use the gloss. Like literally. Glosses are great. I absolutely love this foundation. I think I'm converted. I should have bought new stuff for my kit long ago because I absolutely love. So I will write down all the products I used in the description box below but I think I did mention the majority of them but knowing me I've probably forgotten. But yeah, this is just like a, I would say a kind of semi soft glam. Because I've not got a lot under the eyes. It's still glam. Glam, cut crease. I don't know what colour that is on my lids. Like, I literally don't have a clue. It's called dynamite, but is, is it orange? Is it brown? Is it gold? I don't bloody know. But anyway, so it's quite a glam brown. I can't stop looking at this. I love the skin. With a nice... It looks matte on camera, but it's actually quite glowy. I think because of this blusher. Um, but yeah, full glam look. If you enjoyed, please give it a be like, a comment, a share, whatever, just anything at all would be great. Don't forget to subscribe as well, because if I catch you viewing my videos or sharing them and you've not subscribed to me, there'll be a fight. But thank you so, so much for watching if you made it this far. And if you did, please give it a wee thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment and let me know what you'd like to see more of. Ta-da! You hear that? Oh, that was good. So, I'm um, going to wipe my hand because this is a fucking disaster waiting to happen. Oh, that looks great. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm quite oily and I've got a pure overhanging lip. Oh my god, don't lag it. Why are these fucking introductions so awkward? What did I say? I don't know, but I'm stunning.